Who's correct? All right. Finance department has currently uh, four full-time employees, and um, each each of the full-time employees is up for not only a um, cost of living increase but also a step increase. Um, so you see the, the compensation employees is actually up about ninety-three hundred dollars, about five percent. Uh, we do have some overtime costs, a budget of about five thousand per year. And we do have one part-time person, uh, Paula, who <clears throat> retired about, I don't know, about a year, year and a half ago. Came back part-time. She helps us with a lot of miscellaneous things, such as the, the grants and some bank recs. So, so she helps fill in the gaps, working, you know, usually 10 hours a week, but sometimes it's just more than that. So we've got Paula in there for part-time. Capital purchases. Uh, flat year to year, nothing specific, just always something that seems to come up. Uh, the computer licensing <clears throat> and equipment. I budgeted 7,500, which is actually up um, uh, quite a bit from the previous year. Uh, Windows 10 is sunsetting, which means, uh, from what I understand, we're gonna need to get some new computers. So I budgeted not only the license fees for the computers that we have, but also $4,500 to replace three of the machines. I've increased seminars and conferences by $2,000, uh, trying to encourage the employees to uh, get some continuing education, uh, keeping their CV to speak, and helps them uh, develop as a professional. The financial software tools, that includes um, our access database, which is used for fixed assets, and it also includes a software called Lease Crunch, uh, which we use to calculate uh, the uh, present value of our leases. Uh, it's, a, it's a requirement of GASB 87, which is, they set the rules and regulations for government accounting. Financial consultants, I've got a flat year to year at 10,800. This includes um, lifetime benefit solutions, uh, it includes municipal solutions, who serves as our bond consultant, and it also includes our actuarial services, about $4,500 per year. Uh, office supplies, I've got them actually coming down about 1,000, that's based on um, History, so from 59 to 4900. Our copier lease, that's expected to stay pretty flat, not an expensive way. And then our software license fees, we're due for a, um, an increase on that contract. We'll be coming in 2025, we'll be coming to the end of a three year contract. This is uh, with Tyler Technology, they provide Unis software which controls payroll, accounts payable general ledger, budgeting, capital projects, the complete financial package. So uh, I'm expecting a slight increase, uh, probably around 4%. So I'm budgeting for that. That will happen, uh, I think, oh, about three quarters through the year. So it's not going to have a full impact in 2025. And I think there'll be another three-year contract. Uh, computer systems admin, that's an expense that was in there for 24, but it's now included in this uh, 76000 that we paid to Tyler. Uh, a couple of years ago, we went to Tyler actually hosting our data, where prior to that, it was hosted on site, on our servers, and then we moved it to, uh, to the cloud, which is uh, controlled by Tyler. It was a little more expensive, but uh, it saves, saves money in regard to the equipment, and uh, various time and money that Steve and John in our IT department have to devote to it. Uh, a couple small items, bank admin and the director's expenses, no change there. Software conversion costs, um, I do, I did budget $2,000 in case we need some uh, training for Munis. Um, I know that Kelsey and uh, Braden like to uh, fully utilize the capability of Munis, so there's always something that they're getting into and learn. So a training opportunity may come up. And then lastly, we have our audit and accounting fees. 
I'm expecting that to be up about three thousand dollars, forty-one thousand five hundred. That's with our CPA firm and implements one of our. <clears throat> they provide an annual audit, which costs about thirty thousand, and they also do agreed upon procedure engagements for the court, uh, town clerk, and receiver of taxes. And there also may be a single audit, which is driven by federal money. Exceed seven hundred fifty thousand um, dollars. That that would be like uh, ARPA money or federally based grants. <clears throat> so in total, the budget is up about seventeen thousand, or about uh, three point four percent. So overall, it's pretty good. I have a question about business. Yeah. Does that by any chance have a module or some sort of? Feature where you can do expense approvals. Expense approvals. It could, um, yes, and, and I, I'll tell you why I'm you asking the question. Employee expense reimbursement. It, all employee expense reimbursements. Yeah. All, all, the, all the stack of paper we have to go through as a board member. Every every month you have to review yeah. the bills and sign off on the bills. So my my thought around that is it's a lot of paper. It's very manually intensive yeah. and. And it seems like this software has different features and functionalities, and I know it does budgeting and it, yeah. it does a few other things. Does it do that? Yeah, there are there are ways to automate that and to create workflow for our purchase orders. Um, we would have to obtain the module that would allow us to scan and capture images of the documents. Yep. Uh, we looked into that when we converted payroll a few years ago. <clears throat> it was expensive, so we didn't do it. Something we could consider. Um, it'd be a lot of scanning, but it'd be a lot less paper. You're right. We are scanning is free. We are heavily paper driven. Yes. And yes. paper is expensive and scanning is free. Yeah. So the software might the cost answer. more up front. And eventually right. you save on paper. Right. But eventually you say, but not only do you save on paper, right. you save on time, you improve the speed in which you have reimbursements, mm -hmm. you, it, it's you improve employee productivity, so there's lots of benefits to that. Something we can look into. 